our next vehicle was recently voted Official Truck of Texas. We got to spend a week in the all-new Dodge Ram 1500. Our ride today is the 2009 Dodge Ram 1500, first seen in 1981, and it was called the Ram after the Dodge symbol, which had adorned Dodge cars since the 1930s. This is its fourth redesign, and don't forget, this car has won Truck of the Year from Motor Trend twice. Will the 2009 make it three times? We'll find out what's under the hood what's on the outside, and what's new on the inside. We invited Gavin Mardis from Town & Country's store, which is a Jeep, Chrysler, and Dodge store in Wilsonville. Now, Gavin, welcome to the show. Tell us what powers this new Dodge Ram 1500. What we have here is the new next-generation Hemi engine. It's a 5.7-liter V8 engine uh, with a 390 horsepower is under the hood now. It's around a 50 horsepower jump from the previous year model. Now before we get any more into this engine, let me ask you to explain to me what a Hemi engine is. Well, your standard V8 engine has eight cylinders. That's what the V8 stands for. Each cylinder is what it says. It's a cylinder, but it has a flat top, much like a uh, silo. Uh, the Hemi engine features a rounded top, so when the internal combustion happens, the explosion is a round explosion, and you actually use more of the power of the explosion than your standard engine. So you get more out of the same with the Hemi engine. You've made some changes in the back end, too, for suspension, right? Absolutely. This year, we feature the first in-segment five-link coil rear suspension. What that means is we don't use leaf springs anymore. Leaf springs, uh, cars stopped using leaf springs decades ago. Trucks are still using leaf springs, but you sacrifice ride and comfort for leaf springs. Trains, I understand, use this sort of technology too. We've used the five-link uh, coil suspension in our Rubicon, so you know it has superior off-road capabilities. But when people think of leaf springs on trucks, they think that's what you need to have the payload capacity. But 18-wheeler semis and railroad cars use coil suspensions, and they hold 100 times more payload capacity than this can. Now look at the body on the exterior of the 2009 Dodge Ram 1500. There's some changes up front, right? Absolutely. We have a new forward-leaning front grille, which actually takes its cues from our Dodge Charger model. Uh, but it still has the bold, aggressive Dodge Ram signature crosshair grille on the front. These mirrors actually have a turn signal embedded in them. The side mirrors now have uh, turn signal uh, lights embedded in them, as well as a uh, side illuminating light. And how's the body change for this year? Well, they've raised the belt line and lowered the sill, which adds to the aerodynamics and also gives you better visibility out of the truck. There's some big change here in the back door. This has never been seen on a 1500, right? This is our new uh, full crew size cab. It's the first year that we've had this in the light duty Ram truck. Uh, it's larger than uh, all of our competitors' crew size vehicles also. Something that's very obvious you can't miss when you look at this is what they call the Ram box. It's right on top there. What's the Ram box? Well, the Ram designers this year have decided to use the empty space that was between the sidewall and where the wheel well ended inside and create a dry, lockable, and even illuminated storage space. The storage space is large enough to hold a golf bag, but uh, what I like the best is that it actually has a drain plug in the bottom, so you can put ice and a whole bunch of drinks in here. And something up front which is great to play with is the Uconnect suite. What is that all about? Well, Uconnect is our available hard drive uh, system. Uh, Uconnect Tunes has a 30 gigabyte hard drive. You can store your music on there either straight from a disc or via the USB port. You have an available Uconnect uh, Studios, which gives you either Sirius satellite radio or even Sirius backseat TV, and an available GPS uh, navigation with touchscreen. We've integrated uh, two two in-floor storage bins on either side of the crew cab models which actually have a removable plastic bin and it will fit 10 12 ounce cans with ice. The back seats fold up, it's a one-handed fold up with available under storage underneath.
First of all, best powertrain warranty with unlimited mileage. Second of all, you can look at bold styling, but also the best power and fuel economy combination. And my last reason to look at why is to buy the 2009 Dodge Ram 1500, look at that utility for storage at the back end with the Ram box, with the adjustable tie downs, and also with a bed extender, this vehicle gives you everything you could possibly want as far as storage is concerned. Let's take a look at the MSRP. The 2009 Dodge Ram 1500 Crew Cab has a 5.7 litre V8 Hemi engine and a 5 speed automatic transmission. Its base price is $31,835 and the model we have in the studio is $38,835. The EPA rates this vehicle at 14 in the city and 20 on the highway. Thank you to Gavin Martis from Town & Country's Jeep, Chrysler & Dodge of Wilsonville. If you would like to test drive this vehicle, you can visit Gavin or go to our website for a complete list of Dodge dealers at www.therideshowtv.com. Still to come, our road test of the Chevrolet Corvette Z06. And we take a leisurely drive in this European luxury car that has a W12 engine. That and much more when the ride show returns.